Hey everybody, today I wanna to walk you through some of the things you can do once you've saved a profile. Uh, once you've saved a profile in Charity Can, you can really start customizing that profile and including or excluding uh, information that you either want to include <laughs> or exclude, I guess. So the first thing we need to do is go to a profile we've already saved. Uh, and to do that, we're gonna click on prospects here and go to profiles. If you haven't saved any profiles, it's as easy as looking up a profile and then just clicking save in the top right corner. Uh, today for my test case, I wanna use Jim Balsillie. Let's click here and open that profile up. And you can see that we have a standard Charity Can profile, except this is a bit different because it's our saved version of this Charity Can profile. Um, once we've saved it to, to our instance of Charity Can, we can really start making it our own. Uh, perhaps we're not worried about any of the charity directorship in this profile. It's as simple as clicking right here to delete that record. Uh, and this will automatically update the relationship map too. So when we click on relationships and we start looking at that map, um, this, this profile will now be updated and reflect the fact that we just removed that charity record. We could do the same with the corporate Canada records as well. Um, another few things you can customize in a profile, and this is maybe the most important one, are donation records. Um, and you can see that in this profile, it looks a little different. Uh, generally, we're gonna pre-populate a list of donation records that we think are matches for Jim Balsillie. But those might not be relevant for what you're trying to do with this profile. Uh, let's say, for example, we only want to include gifts over $100,000, or we only want to include gifts to healthcare, or we want to uh, exclude alumni giving. Um, those are the kind of things we can do once we've saved a profile. So, so let's go ahead and add some donation records to this profile. And you can see that we can add donation records from a donation record search or an integrated search result. Uh, I'm gonna add them from the integrated search since I have it right here on the same page. Integrated search. And let's say we're gonna include the top donation records. Let's say I want to include the, the million dollar gifts in this profile. Click those three gifts, and we're gonna add them to the save profile. Done. There we go. Now when we jump back up here to donations, we can see that we've populated donation records with these three gifts, and the graphs have automatically updated to represent all, all, the, all the different giving we've now added. Um, we can also click over here on foundation donations. Since Charity Can has been able to, to, to tie Jim Balsilli to, to his foundation, the Balsilli Family Foundation, uh, we've pre-populated this list with gifts from that foundation. If we weren't able to match a person to a foundation, but you as a fundraiser know for a fact they're 100% match, it would just be as simple as opening up that foundation uh, charity analyst report, selecting the gifts, and then associating them with your saved profile. Uh, it's, it's really just a few clicks, but we've automatically already done it for you here as well. Uh, here's the relationship map, just so everyone can see that what this map looks like now that we've uh, filtered out that charity we deleted at the top. Uh, another great thing you can do once you've saved a profile to really make it your own is add notes to that profile. And this is fantastic if you're working with colleagues on a shared profile. I can say, hey, this is a great prospect. And we'll add that note. And it'll add a name stamp and a timestamp to when I made that note. Uh, I hope you've all enjoyed uh, what I've done today, walking you through some of the things you can do once you've saved a profile and some of the customization options. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, please do not hesitate to reach out to us and we'll help right away. I uh, hope you have a great day. Bye.